Hello fellow streamers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over the DMCA strike issues that have plagued Twitch recently, and then I'm going to offer a couple solutions that have helped me out to avoid copyright strikes on either my YouTube videos, Twitch streams, Instagram even, and Twitter as well. I've actually had uh, a post removed from my Instagram uh, account recently, and that was from a post that I made, a, a video I, I posted from a clip that I had from Twitch. So I took that Twitch clip, put it on Instagram, and it had some copyright music in it, apparently, and it was removed. And my account only has 200 followers, so be careful if you're a larger streamer, larger uh, you know if you have larger accounts out there uh, they will put strikes against you and potentially remove your account or ban your account or delete your account so just be careful out there I have a couple solutions today and but before I get started uh, if this video helps you out at all please consider giving it a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to hang out on twitch please come over to my twitch channel and we can game it up all right so I'm gonna start off here on my twitch channel Last night, I went through and actually deleted all my clips and all my previous streams, sadly. Uh, but I don't want to... I don't want to even bother getting worrying about getting a DMCA strike on my account. So I just deleted all the clips, all the videos. Luckily, Twitch allows you to download all the clips and videos if you care to do so. Personally, I didn't. All the clips and stuff I had, I already used on, you know, previous Instagram posts. Twitter posts, YouTube, that sort of thing. So I, I wasn't too worried about that. Uh, so I just deleted all my clips. And I'm all, I'm a very small streamer, obviously. I literally just hit 500 followers yesterday. And But obviously the DMCA strikes and any sort of copyright site, they don't discriminate. So you could have one follower or you could have 10 million. They don't discriminate. So just be aware of that. Uh, you may want to consider downloading and deleting all your clips from Twitch. So that's what I've done. Just a recommendation from me there. All right, next I'm going to go over to a couple articles that I pulled up here. One was from Forbes. Uh, this says here, Twitch DMCA claims frustrate creators forced to delete years of VODs and clips. That's what I was just talking about there on my Twitch channel. I'm not going to read this whole thing, obviously. I'll just read the top part here. I'll leave the, if you care to read it, I'll leave the, the link in the description below. So you can click on that and read it there. Uh, so this says, uh, it's not enjoyable being at the mercy of sprawling mega platform you technically don't actually work for, but that's what's happening now, now as Twitch streamers are sifting through mountains of old content in the wake of a fresh wave of digital millennium copyright act that's what dmca stands for digital millennium copyright act claims against their content this seems to be this seems to happen every few years or so but this latest wave is larger than any that has come through before and right now years of vods and clips are getting hit on twitch or using copyrighted audio so that's the songs the music that's being played through whatever youtuber um Spotify or whatever you use to record your music or play your music during your live streams. The danger is that with this being an automated system, if you get enough videos flagged, your entire channel could be at risk. So it's an automated thing. So it's not someone going through it. It's it's a an algorithm, an AI sort of thing, being picking up on any sort of copyrighted music on your stream so again you may want to delete those clips next is another article that i found uh same thing twitch streamers hit with dmca claims C copyright infringement issues have always been a concern for content creators while communities try their best to keep them in check sometimes things get out of hand streamers on twitch have been hit with waves of DMCA claims against their clips recently. Twitch support came out with uh, a post here. Now this was just a couple days ago. This was on Monday, June 7th, and today is the 9th. 
So uh, th what they said here, this is the first time we have received mass DMCA claims against Clips. We understand this has been stressful for effective cre affected creators and are working on solutions, including examining how we can give you more control over your clips. Now, I'm going to offer you an uh, example of more, taking more control over your clips, and that's using copyright free music. <laughs> it's not that hard, really. Uh, it's frustrating, I know it, it can be, but uh, the two solutions I have, I'm going to go into right now. All right, so the music that I use on my streams, the copyright free music, I should say, is the first one is Stream Beats by Harris Heller. If you don't know who Harris Heller is, please go check out his content. Alpha Gaming is actually his YouTube channel. He has a lot of really good stuff on there. Um, he created uh, playlists for streaming specifically and According to him, they're a hundred percent, or I don't know what he said exactly, but a hundred, a hundred and ten percent copyright free. If you're using his music and there's ever a copyright strike, you can contact him in his Discord channel or Twitter, and he will fix it for you as soon as possible. I'm pretty sure I've heard him say that. Don't quote me on that, but I know the music that he's providing is a hundred percent copyright free, and that's what his goal is. So this is the music I use mainly on my YouTube videos. Um, he's going to be coming out with more, more and more music. These are most of these songs are lo-fi. So if you have, if you play like Minecraft or uh, chill games like that, you may want to use this music. It's it's really it's really good for like chill lo-fi type games. So I would highly recommend this. Or if you're making YouTube videos and you want background music, like the music you hear here in, in the background of my video, this is actually one of these songs. So highly recommend Stream Beats by Harris Heller. And the next one is more of uh, upbeat uh, EDM style, I guess, music that I typically use for when I'm actually live streaming. And that is NCS Music. No copyright sounds. Copyright, uh, yeah, according to them, it, it's copyright stream, copyright free stream safe music. So these guys play a lot of, or have a lot of different, more, like I said, more of EDM style music and upbeat music. So if, like I play a lot of Call of Duty, so I like having this sort of music in the background kind of goes with the the stream itself so you don't want to like a chill game you don't want to be playing a game of chess and then have like hardcore edm or dubstep or something in the background you'd, you'd want more of a lo-fi chill stream beats music by the, the ones that i just showed you there by harris harris heller um but yeah so these are the two playlists i use currently now what I want to do with this video in, in particular is I've offered two solutions here and what I'd like to do is if you guys know of anything, please drop links down below to any music that you use that are that is a copyright free. Uh, so whether you make your own music or you know of a creator that makes copyright free music, please link them down below in the description. That would be amazing to have a whole list of of music that everyone can kind of pick through and use on their own streams. So that's it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching it. If it helps you out at all, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And again, if you want to hang out on Twitch, please come over to my Twitch channel and I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.